Algarve, the paradise of eternal summer and beaches that simply look unreal. But they are very real and that's why we keep coming back to the point where our luggage is starting to fall apart. <laughs> and in this video we are going to show you everything to see, do, eat and drink in wonderful Algarve. Let's go! The Algarve region of Portugal has a rich history that dates back to prehistoric times. In the 12th century, Algarve was conquered by the Portuguese and became an important center for fishing and agriculture. Today, it's one of the most popular tourist destinations in Portugal where there is something for everyone, whether you want an affordable summer getaway or something more high-end like dining in this incredible setting. We are staying at the Porto Bay Felicia Hotel, with perhaps the best possible location just five minutes from Albufeira. The thing is, Algarve is packed with amazing things to do and see along the entire coast. So staying in the middle of it all means everything is within reach. We have been to the Elgab more than 10 times, so allow us to share some of the best things to do. Beaches here in Elgab, there are a lot of them. In fact, we could probably mention 20 epic beaches, but we're gonna stick with five. This is one of them because here in Lagos, you have a number of small beaches that all together makes this one of the most unique places to go. I mean, just look at the drone footage. This is probably the most beautiful place at the Algarve coast. Praia da Marinha is one of the most iconic beaches and it speaks for itself. On the west coast, you find Praia da Cordoama, which is a beautiful contrast to the more typical Algarve beaches as a wild ocean meets dramatic cliffs, creating this raw and stunning scenery. At Praia do Beliche, you find turquoise water with wraparound sea cliffs. This is the ultimate tanning spot and also great for surfing. So this is Praia da Felicia, right next to our hotel. And this is one of our favorite beaches, not because it's right next to our hotel, but because it's just such a beautiful beach. I mean, look around here. And as you can see, it's also very kid-friendly. Before we continue our Algarve exploration, let us share five things you need to know before you go. Number one is that you might have seen all these beautiful Instagram photos. These beautiful attractions can be quite dangerous if you don't know what you are doing. So you have to be good on your foot and you have to not go right next to the cliffs to take these beautiful Instagram photos. At the Algarve coast, you need a car because everything is spread out. Unless you just want to be at the beach and the hotel your entire stay, that's fine. But to really understand Algarve, you have to get a car. Since Algarve is a beachy paradise, we have to talk about the beaches because the beaches tend to be super crowded during summer here. So consider going during autumn and winter if you want the beaches to yourself and still want heat. But also remember that Algarve is not just incredible beaches. There is so much to do here. How about exploring the hinterlands in an off-road buggy? And most importantly, make space in your suitcase for souvenirs because here in Algarve, craftsmanship is amazing. So you can pick a lot of things for your house and for your kitchen while you're here. Especially pottery is a big deal here. So we love bringing home plates for our wall and quirky stuff for the kitchen. For your mashed potatoes, your spinach. I told you not to fill up your suitcase because one souvenir already down. It's almost dangerous to shop here as you better half most likely will get ambitious with what's possible to bring home. Do you think this can fit? See if you can make some healthy compromises like this one. Suitcase is getting fuller and fuller. But let's take a break from all the shopping and relax for a second at the hotel. You know, falling asleep while getting 60 minutes of massage accompanied by spa and pool time. Can I come and make it even more steamy in here? Guys, respect our privacy. Besides having a beautiful room with champagne and tons of space, we must say that the highlight was the in-room entertainment. Number one is to go for a Madeira wine tasting at Blandy's. Kidding aside, what made our stay truly magical was being right next to this beach. Every morning we would wake up early for a sunrise walk, just the two of us with naked feet in the sand. A moment like this is enough to make us consider the Algarve as a permanent home. And the beautiful thing is that Algarve offers mild weather throughout winter, so it's not just a place to visit during summer. Of course temperatures will be low but when the sun is shining, it really feels like summer. For the lazy people who don't want to take the 133 steps down to the beach, you can just stay here at a sunbed and enjoy the view and all the healthy people out there. This, wow. We have already talked about the location here, but I have to say that I have not been to a hotel with such a beautiful view before. And the hotel itself has all these cozy little nooks for sun tanning and relaxing and chilling and reading. It's very, very beautiful. Breakfast is not the most important meal of the day, unless you stay here. 
In fact, food in general is the most important meal of the day here at the Algarve Coast, whether it's lunch, dinner, or an impulsive snack. We have eaten the coast in, so let's talk about the local food you should not miss out on. Seafood is obviously a big deal here, so that's where your main focus should be. Having a big, beautiful Cataplana is a must. Arroz de Marisco is our go-to dish, but don't forget lots of piri piri on top. Carne Porco de Alentejana is a beautiful local dish that will melt your taste buds. A sorta Algarvia doesn't require further explanation. It sells itself. Tamboril is what they call poor man's lobster. And I can tell you, it's just as amazing, but at a fraction of the price and with no bones. We have done several food tours around the El Gap, and the key to really take advantage of the gastronomy is to be open to all these local dishes. Don't stay in your comfort zone with steak and fries. The amount of amazing restaurants you find at the El Gap coast is overwhelming. Whether you're looking for local Tashkas or Michelin star restaurants, you got it. But don't forget to move your body. It's fine to gain a few pounds on your vacation, but you might as well take advantage of the facilities. So Algarve is a fairly big place. From Europe's most southwestern point, Cape San Vicente, to the very border of Spain, you got a hundred mile drive. That means there are a lot of places to visit, and picking the right ones can be a daunting task, but it's also a good thing as you will want to come back again and again. If you're a first time of visiting, the following town should be on your to-do list. Tavira is where we really fell in love with the Algarve. The notion that the Algarve is just a touristy beach destination is wrong, and this town is a wonderful example on that. East of Tavira, at the very border, you have Villa Real de Santo Antonio, which we like to call Mini Lisbon. It's a charming town to go for a walk, have lunch, and perhaps shop some more pottery. Ferragudo is a cute town with excellent restaurants and even our favorite Algarve beach club. This is Club Now, and this is our favorite beach club in all of Algarve. You come here to enjoy life. You have epic food, lots of wine, and the atmosphere here is great. They often have live music, a lot of nice people to talk to. I gotta say, we usually end up partying here when we come for a casual lunch. We leave at 4 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Conveniently, Ferragudo is right next to Portimao, which is the biggest city on the coast. You definitely don't come here for beautiful architecture. But there are so many great restaurants that it's well worth half a day to fill your soul with magnificent lunch and dinner. And as you can see, the beach here is also quite nice. Oliao is another example of these quaint Algarvian towns with narrow cobblestone streets, local shops and cozy restaurants. From here you have to take a taxi boat to what we like to call the Maldives of Portugal, where you have clear water surrounding small islands with endless beaches. The old town of Faro is worth a stroll along with an ice cold Caneca de Cerveja. Finally, spending a day in Lagos is something you won't regret. It's a fairly big town with lots of narrow streets to get lost in. Guys, We've stayed at almost all Porto Bay hotels and we love it. Whether you're going to Madeira, Lisbon, Porto or Algarve where we are right now, you have a just wonderful place to sleep, to explore and to enjoy life. Beyond tanning on the beach with colorful cocktails, it's an absolute must to take advantage of the actual sea, and there's something for everyone. If you're sporty like us, go explore the caves on a paddleboard. If you're adventurous like us, marvel at the golden cliffs and explore the caves from a speedboat. If you're lazy and into the good life, also like us, rent a yacht while sipping aguardent and champagne with the sunset in the background. There really is nothing like this experience. Going back to arts and crafts and filling your suitcase, exploring the many local markets Market should be a priority. The Algarve has some of our favorite markets in all of Portugal. We absolutely love the Alcos market just 20 minutes from our hotel. It is huge with amazing variety of arts and crafts but also local produce. Even though you might not want to bring home a bag of organic potatoes, it's a great place to observe and just feel the local spirit. This market happens on the first Saturday in the month and on the second Monday in the month. So it's not a thing that happens every weekend, which I really like. Plus, it's very cheap here but there is also a Monchique mountain flea market also a mere 20 minutes from the hotel you have the Lule Saturday market we are in the Lule market guys and this is an old Arabic structure that houses the market with lots of different produce here from Portugal as well as handcrafts made here in Portugal as well it's a nice place to get lost because you'll find a lot of things that you don't necessarily find other places around El Gap this is the strongest in the world and yeah. you make it. Strongest in my world. In your world, but it's two and a half million 
uh, Scoville unit. Yeah. It's called Chocolate Insanity. The cool thing is that it's not just the market that makes a trip worthwhile. The town of Lule itself is soulful and a wonderful representation of the true Algarve we all fall in love with. As our seven-day Algarve getaway was coming to an end, we had arranged a farewell dinner at the hotel restaurant Il Basilico. And let's just say it's hard to compete with this setup right here. Amelia, I think we have maybe one of the coolest setups here in yeah. uh, our uh, history of traveling. I agree, this is crazy. Honestly, when I sit here, I feel like I'm in Africa, but actually I'm just in Southern Europe. It's crazy. But I gotta say, I'm very excited for today's dinner because we are having Italian. So this is Il Basilico, and we have been to Porto, Il Basilico, Madeira, Lisbon, and it's one of our favorite Italian restaurants in Portugal. The level is always amazing. I don't think we ever had such a romantic spot. The view and the Light from the sun hitting the cliffs. It's one of the most fascinating rock formations I've seen. Life is good. Did you know that the secret to a great pizza dough is in the yeast? And yeast is Christ. They have the secret here. The Algarve is one of the warmest places in Europe year-round. It's one of the most beautiful too. It's a place where you feel free and happy. It's easy to become addicted to this exotic corner of Europe, but it's a healthy addiction that we have embraced since our first visit in 2017.